Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release for Windows 11 version 22H2, which is the C release or the non-security update that is a monthly update for Windows 11, the main release. If you're unsure of how the main release works on Windows 11, you can check out the article below for further information about the two main updates that are released to the main release every month on Windows 11 22H2, which is the B and the C release, one of them being the security or the Patch Tuesday update and the other being the C release or the non-security update for Windows 11. The build that we're talking about today is the build at 22,061.2070 or the update KB502A254. This being an update for the May release, it doesn't have any major improvements or things that are changed in the operating system, but we're gonna go through some of the main changes and fixes that you can find in this build because of course, as you all know, Microsoft is preparing the base for Windows 11 23H2, which will most likely be an update that will apply those features inside Windows 11 without having to update for hours as we did before with other versions of Windows. So before starting to talk about today's build, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, this update is making the brightness settings more accurate. And also this update addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices that are missing after your system resumes from sleep. An issue that affects widgets was also addressed. They unpin from the taskbar when you do not expect it. And also in this update, Microsoft is fixing the poor performance of certain VPNs. So basically this issue affects virtual private networks VPNs where there might be an excessive address resolution protocol request to the network gateway. This occurs when the VPN is on a wireless mesh network that uses an aggressive throttling algorithm. This update also addresses an issue in the Windows notification platform. The issue affects how much power you are device uses. Also, an issue that affects certain CPUs was addressed in this build. There is inconsistent reporting of the L2 cache. Also, printer drivers that unload unexpectedly were addressed in this build, and this basically occurs when you print from multiple print queues to the same printer driver. And also, an issue that affects the Defender firewall profile was addressed. It basically fails to automatically switch from a LAN which is trusted to a public network. And basically, these are the main things that were improved in the operating system. As I've said, this is not a big build. This is a build that fixes and addresses a lot of issues were present in the last few builds. So I think this is still a great build. And if you want to see the whole list of fixes and improvements in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. As always, if you want to get the latest update for the main release of Windows 11, just open up the search box, tap in their settings, open up the settings app, and then go into the Windows update section and then click on check for updates to get the latest version for Windows 11. And if you want to get all the latest updates as soon as they're available, make sure to toggle on this slider if you want to be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. So this was the video for today and the update for Windows 11, the main release. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.